miles below the surface of our planet, under the extreme pressure and high temperatures. Hydrocarbons are pressed into diamonds. But more than a billion miles away from Earth, on the ice giants of Neptune and Uranus, the universe's diamond-making process is a bit more fascinating. Since the 1970s, scientists believed that diamonds could actually rain down toward the mushy, rocky interiors of the planets. In 2017, researchers in Germany and California found a way to replicate those planetary conditions, fabricating incredibly tiny diamonds called nanodiamonds in the lab using polystyrene. But the conditions were so extreme and dynamic that the diamonds ended up falling apart. Earlier this year, scientists in Germany tried it again, this time blasting cheap plastic with ultra-powerful lasers, but at a much lower pressure, now successfully creating nanodiamonds. And with this, confirming the existence of a new type of water. Using a high-powered optical laser, the physicists blasted a sheet of polyethylene terephthalate plastic, which is used in water bottles, for example, and heated it to around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit for only a billionth of a second. This extreme heat created pressures millions of times stronger than Earth's atmosphere, ultra-compressing the plastic and effectively separating its molecular structure. Carbon atoms within the plastic began to crystallize, leaving room for hydrogen and oxygen to drift out through the resulting lattice. The crystallized carbon turned into nanodiamonds, which measured just a few nanometers, while the hydrogen and oxygen turned into superionic water or superionic ice, which is a black, incredibly hot ice that may actually be the most common form of water in the universe. Yes, you heard right. Water can freeze and boil at the same time. It's a phenomenon called triple point that occurs when the pressure and temperature are perfectly set for the three states of substance, solid, liquid and vapor, to coexist in perfect balance. Superionic water also conducts electricity more easily than standard water. But what makes nanodiamonds so special? Nanodiamonds not just possess many desirable mechanical properties compared to other nanomaterials. Their properties include superior hardness, better chemical stability and thermal conductivity. They are also used as antimicrobial agents and delivery vehicles for vaccines and drugs because they are biocompatible and small in size, which allows them to penetrate cells without causing damage. That's why nanodiamonds with attached molecules are able to penetrate the blood-brain barrier, which protects the brain from most attacks. In 2013, a popular cancer-killing drug was bonded to nanodiamond surfaces. The test showed that tumors were unable to eject the compound, which increased the drug's ability to impact the tumor and reduced side effects. And although pure carbon, whether in graphite or diamonds, is unresponsive to magnetic fields, scientists have found a way to still align microscopic diamonds in a magnetic field. Tiny naturally occurring defects are responsible for this. In the future, the small diamonds could possibly be used as ultra-small and very precise quantum sensors for temperature and magnetic fields, for example, for better MRE recordings. This experiment also gave physicists a deeper understanding of the nature of planetary ice giants like Neptune and Uranus, whose strange conditions have often baffled researchers. Because although Neptune is an ice giant, it has always been unexpectedly hot and Uranus' magnetic field forms in a strange way. Although it was believed that their internal pressure isn't intense enough to form nanodiamonds, this new experiment proves that nanodiamonds could very likely form in the cores of ice giants. Because like PET plastic, the interiors of ice giants contain oxygen, carbon and hydrogen. The heat would produce a reaction similar to what lasers do to the plastic, causing a rainfall of diamonds to travel through the planet's interior. The diamonds migrating through Neptune's interior could create friction that would explain the planet's high temperatures. And the formation of superionic water on Uranus could conduct currents that give its magnetic field its odd shape. This new study provides good evidence that if it is happening at lower pressure than scientists were originally thinking, superionic water and nanodiamonds are probably forming naturally everywhere, not just in Uranus and Neptune, even inside of some moons like Titan. This ability to turn cheap plastic into valuable materials might even help reduce plastic pollution by providing a financial incentive to take plastic out of the ocean or landfills and turn it into nanodiamonds.